Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Collective, I am doing a random reading for you, and the first card out is the devil, okay? I don't know what we're going to pick up on, but um, we'll see what the divine wants you to know. Uh, this reading may not resonate with all of you, okay? But if something pulled you in from the title, there's something in it for you. Just take what resonates, though, and leave the rest. Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, I, seriously, for all of your support. Thank you for all the likes, the subscribes, for being nice to me every day. <laughs> you know, that I, I'm telling you, the kindness and the niceness, it's so valuable, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, really, for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody's juggling here. Somebody like, you know, I'm getting a couple different scenarios off of that card. I'm getting the sense that somebody's got like, there could be a group of feminine energies. It could be exes, it could be friends, um, it could be lovers, you know. But this person, I feel like they don't want to let anybody go. They just keep juggling. This is somebody very toxic. Um, they're in a toxic situation, but they're getting, they're going to get burned by the devil if they keep up this lifestyle. Um, I feel like, yeah, it, it could even be like a party lifestyle. Like they could have some kind of addiction too that they just don't want to, they don't want to let go. They um, continuously juggle. Yeah, this is, a, this is women here. Feminine energies. Um, yeah, they've, they're in a toxic situation here, a toxic um, relationship with, a, with you know, a karmic individual. But they also have somebody else on the side that they don't want to let go of. They don't want to let go of you. They don't want to let go of the toxic situation here. They just want to keep juggling. And I feel like, um, yeah, and it's all about um, passion and intimacy, okay, using that wand. Um, yeah, you know what? I feel like this person's going to get in trouble. Ooh, they could have already gotten in trouble. This could be an STD that they got from somebody, from playing around, from being having a toxic lifestyle and all of this juggling and extra. This person picked up an STD. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a player. I feel like they want to keep it. They definitely want to keep this hidden from you. There's something about your energy collective that they, they, this person actually, they hold you kind of up on a pedestal. I get the feeling like you're out of their league. I want to say you're out of their league. They go for toxic individuals, right? They go for people who may be promiscuous. They go for party people, all right? And you're not that. You're actually a divine feminine energy here. One that they can't get off of their mind. But this person, they kind of see you as being untouchable in a way. So, you know, they're not willing to let go of their player lifestyle. They stayed in it too long. They played with the wrong person. I feel like they could have picked up an STD here. Um, and meanwhile, they, I mean, they try, they were wanting to keep this information hidden from you. They don't want you to find out. You, like they, they hold you kind of like seriously up on, up on a pedestal in their own mind. But yet they don't have anything to do with you. Because the, the, you're, uh, they see you as being out of their league, I feel. Okay? They see you as being very loving, very innocent. You're not like the others. You know, they think you're pristine. You know what I mean? Untouchable. Um, yeah. And this person, even though they refuse to make a decision here, um, they're all, they always think of you as somebody that um, they could have a dream life with and um, build something solid. Like they fantasize about committing to you and being with you forever and, you know, um, but they're still being reckless. 
they're, they're still acting a fool, okay? I feel like a part of them wants to take a risk. A part of this person really wants to take a risk and come forward and tell you how they feel about you. But, you know, here's the thing. These people that they've been dealing with, they're easy, right? They can get away with stuff. They're toxic. Um, they, may be, they may enable them, right? These are people that they'll play with, you know? These right here. They'll play with them. They'll have their fun. This person is a player. But you, like, they, they're not going to do that with you. They see, they definitely see you as being like um, a step above, uh, out of their league, not like the others, um, pristine and on a pedestal, okay? Yeah, man. I feel like this person, they, they may take a risk, though. They may find it very hard to hold back. Um, yeah, right now, you've got them out, of, out in the cold. They, it's like... They haven't heard from you. This person could even be like looking for you kind of everywhere. Okay. Um, it seems like ev I feel like everywhere that they go, this person looks for you. But they're really losing in their life. This toxic lifestyle is costing them a lot. It's costing them their health, number one, especially if they picked up an STD. It's, it's costing them all of their finances, their money. Um, they, I, this person could wake up with hangovers, unable to go to work. They could lose a job, have a hard time paying their bills, possibly even lose a home. You know, I mean, I feel like they're, they're just having a really tough time in their life. Um, and they feel like they're getting themselves stuck because they are. Because they keep entertaining the devil and toxic people that they're not in love with. I feel like this person seriously is in love with you. Yeah, I see you're an earth angel, man. And they, you know what, they've got this toxic lifestyle where they've done a lot of bad things. Or they've been with a, a lot of, a lot of people. Okay, let's just say it like that. They've been with a lot of people. And they. I feel like this is also bad health. This is a wounded warrior. I feel like, um, number one, they don't want to tell you the truth about their life. Number two, if they have an STD, which I think they got an STD, they don't want to tell you the truth about that either. They hold you in very high regard, collective. You may not know it, you know, um, but they do. They're looking at you like, wow. Like, wow. How do you do the things that you do? Why can't I stop thinking about you? Um, how are you this intuitive? How are you, you know, <sighs> yeah, how are you an earth angel, right? <laughs> yeah, and they're realizing they missed out on real love here. They did playing around with other people that didn't have any love for them, really. You know, only passion and STDs. That's all this person got. But now it's to the point where, I mean, they, they, they think that this is clearly the way they're looking at you and you're in this earth angel energy. Do you see? They see you as being untouchable. They see you as being way out of their league collective and I feel like too this person they even though they dream of having a commitment with you they're not willing to let go of their player lifestyle uh, they're not willing to let go of any of it okay they want to keep hanging on to that you know um, but here's the thing they held on for it to it for for too long um, yeah, tower moment here. Tower. They could have even gotten somebody pregnant. Maybe they're just finding out that they're getting somebody pregnant. It's like they're in a lot of remorse and regret here. They really, well, I want to say regret because remorse and regret, it's a different feel, right? Um, they are in regret, though. They're wishing that they could have you back. 
they're they're regretting turning their back on a, a real loving soulmate connection i feel like this person isn't getting any younger either they're starting to turn gray they're losing their health they're tired i mean how long are they going to keep this up you know when they could have what they did when they turned their back on you they actually turned their back on ultimate wish fulfillment the Ten of Cups, they turn their back on, the t on happiness and on a Ten of Pentacles, an Earth Angel, a Divine Feminine, a Divine Connection. They turn their back on this for a toxic lifestyle where all they, all they really wanted to do was play around. Um, yeah, you're, they're realizing you're not speaking to them. They're kind of like, they can't stop thinking about you. I get the sense that they're ashamed, they're embarrassed secretly because they know they're not at your level anymore, you know, or they probably never were, to be honest. Um, not in this time, not playing with the devil, they weren't, you know, and now I feel like, uh, they're hiding how they feel. This is definitely aging this person. They just keep getting old. They keep looking older and older and older. They do. It's aging them really fast. It's draining them. Um, the thought of you, how, what they did to an earth angel, the fact that they're still with the devil, the fact that they're um, catching things out here, with, playing around with too many people. You know, I feel like, yeah, and now it's like they they want to come towards you, but they're coming towards you as a page um, to an empress. Do you see what I mean? That's how they feel, that you are way, 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 way out of their league. And that's what's got them in, like, mental torment, okay? Because they want you, they can't stop watching you, they can't get you off of their mind, but yet, should they approach you? Because at this point, they don't have a whole lot to offer an empress. You know? I feel like it's, they're in a lot of mental anguish over this, I gotta say. Because they really feel like you are way out of their league now. You know? Um, they may approach you here. You may get a text message or a phone call from this person, but I feel like they're kind of fighting against that in their own head, right? Because they do feel intimidated by your energy. They, you know, um, it's kind of like when people are thinking like, oh, I'll never get this empress, you know, that kind of thing, right? You're untouchable. But man, they really want to reach out to you here. I feel like they want to have the power to come and change this around. They want that two of cups back. They do. But they're hiding it, collective. They're hiding it. And meanwhile, they're out here playing around with anybody that they can pick up on. I mean, that's really what it looks like here. Anybody that they can pick up on. And, and some of them are out here getting STDs. Yeah, this is like a king schmoozer here. But now this player, you know, if you notice, they go from, they go from the knight of swords to the, or sorry, yeah, the, uh, sorry, the knight of wands to the king of wands. This person is like, they're, they're growing up. They're realizing that this toxic lifestyle that they've been hanging on to, man, it would be nothing, like nothing compared to being with you. Like that would be their ultimate wish, right? Their ultimate wish fulfillment, ultimate happiness. You are the ultimate collective. Um, so I feel like they're kind of they're kind of growing up a little bit here, but this, you know. It may be too late. Yeah, see, now all they want is love. Now this person wants love. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Sagittarius. Cancer, we're heavy on Cancer here. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Aries. Your person could be a Virgo. Heavy, heavy Virgo energy here. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Leo heavy, Leo heavy, Scorpio. 
Aries, Virgo, take it how it resonates with you, but they want that love back, and I feel like they're heartbroken because you've got your back turned towards them. Do you see? You've got your back turned. You're um, protecting that cup of love, um, and you've leveled up in your life. You've become successful, abundant. You're the empress here. You're out of this person's league. They can, They feel that. That's how they feel. And they're heartbroken and they're trying to hide it and meanwhile they're trying to you know fill a void right filling a void with all these other party people out here playing around yeah man they want you back collective okay but right now they're afraid to approach you I feel um, because yeah, they're, they're not vibing at your level. That's for sure. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I know now that it's true. And that pretty much says it all, doesn't it? That it totally confirms everything that I was just saying. Okay. Um, our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine to yours. So you've always been a spiritual being. You would have never just like chosen the devil, right? Um, and there's things that there's things about you that are pure and good and divine. And their toxic lifestyle, they're not going to be able to get away with that if they get with a divine being. An empress isn't going to deal with toxicity, okay? You're just not. So these other people that they've been dealing with, they're just they're easier, they're easier to deal with. This person can live their toxic lifestyle and be a player and nobody calls them out, you know? Um, but you would not put up with that. So it's easier being with with the people, the the karmic kind of people that they've been hanging out with. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, they're starting to see how important you are. They're starting to realize that you're an earth angel. Letting you down was the worst decision I made. That is true. That is true. But the longer they keep up this lifestyle collective, they just keep letting you down. You know, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. It's a very passionate person, okay? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I know I messed up everything. Yeah. Yeah, collective. Um, but there's, there's, they refuse to let go of that toxic lifestyle, and they're afraid to approach you, okay? They're afraid to come towards the empress. So... Right now, that's where they are. That's the energy I have for this person anyway. They're all up in their head about you. Just know that. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.